Hello Booktube and welcome to another Booktube video from Davide at Bookish Wonderland. Thank you very much for all the views, support, love and comments that you have left on my previous videos. I am back today reviewing two books that I have read last month, both of which I have fairly enjoyed. I think I will change slightly the format of the videos from now on. I am not going to review every single book which I am going to read. I am going to review only the most significant ones, the ones that I have enjoyed the most, the ones that I have more things to say about, but I will include a brief review of all the books in a final monthly wrap-up. I am going to review two books that I have read this month in the month, well, actually last month in the month of January. The first book that I am going to review is the Gustav Sonata by Rose Tremaine. We follow the story of Gustav. Gustav is a little boy living in Switzerland, in Matzlingen. Uh, he's quite a um, lonely little child. He doesn't have many friends. One day he goes to school and his teacher introduces him to a new boy. This boy is Anton and the two of them become inseparable. However, Gustav's mom is fairly opposed to this friendship and as we progress in the book we understand why. Uh, meanwhile we have a very interesting chunk in the middle of the book, it's a flashback uh, which follows the story of Gustav's mother uh, since she was uh, in her 20s and she gets married with Gustav's father um, and follows their uh, initial parts of their marriage um, for some reason which I'm not going to explain however uh, Gustav will never meet his father. Um, I gave this book four stars. It's an incredible book. I really liked it. Uh, I think I have read it in four or five days. It was so beautiful. Four or five days for me it's quite a short time to read. A book. I have listened it on an audiobook and I have to admit the performance was absolutely brilliant. I have loved it, I have enjoyed it. However, I gave it only four stars on Goodreads because the mystery sort of, you know, every book has an underlying question and the underlying question of the book, at least for the very first part, was why is Gustav's mother so opposed to Gustav's friendship with Anton? Um, the fact is that the reason is clear from the very beginning and you expect it to change and you expect it to get a little more you know different that there is a little plot twist but you don't see this plot twist this plot twist never comes so uh, it was quite clear and was quite obvious from the beginning but however it was an amazing amazing book it was really heartbreaking and um, at, at the end of it you just feel heartwarmed um, one element also which I haven't really particularly enjoyed about this book is Gustav's relationship with women we follow Gustav growing up as a teenager first and as a and as a um and as an adult uh, later uh his relationship with women is very complicated he always feels attracted but at the same repulsed by women he's attracted by older women uh, i i haven't really enjoyed this aspect of the book uh, not because I'm particularly conservative and I'm not of relationships between uh, elder men or women and younger partners, but because it felt a bit random in the psychology of the character. That's it. However, it was a great book and I gave it four stars on Goodreads. The second book which I'm going to review today is English Animal by Laura Kaye. It's a very good book. I have although given it only three stars on Goodreads and I will explain in details the reason. I decided to pick this book uh, when I saw it on Mercedes TBR. One of the things that I like about Mercedes and that we share in terms of book tastes is that she enjoys and I really do like as well books that are set in rural areas, especially in Britain, and this book got my attention because it's set in rural in a rural area of Britain, um, somewhere I think in the 
Midlands. They follow the story of Mirka. Mirka is a Slovak uh, migrant that lives in London. Uh, one day she gets a call and she is sent to live with a family in a rural place in England. Um, we uh, follow the story of her settling in this family, the family of Richard and Sophie. Um, she is a lesbian and she falls in love pretty quickly with Sophie while she works as a assistant taxidermist for um, Richard. Um, I enjoyed this book, it's very pleasant, uh, it's pretty quick as well, it doesn't take much to read, the language is very simple, very straightforward, very nice style, um, very nice pace, the punctuation is really good, I really enjoyed this aspect and I like the description of the life in the English countryside, however I can't help to believe that some of the aspects are a bit stereotypical. I felt that some of the characters that were living in the little town where Mirka is sent were put there just to prove a point. For instance, there is David, who is a uh, assistant to Richard. He helps him in the work in his uh, little farm where he also has his uh, taxidermy. Uh, however, David is immediately opposed to uh, Mirka and he's opposed to her essentially because she's a migrant and he doesn't have a lot of lines uh, but he's there just to, to show that people in rural England are rude and are opposed to migrants and they all voted for Brexit which I felt a bit offensive and stereotypical at the same time. Uh, the second reason why I gave this book only three stars is that the ending of the book I felt it was extremely rushed. Uh, it was a very quick twist, plot twist, uh, but it wasn't a coherent plot twist, uh, so the result was a big fat WTF. Uh, what the hell is happening? Why is this happening? There is no rationality behind what's happening. I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to tell you what was the specific fact that left me a bit surprised, but surprised in a negative way, but believe me, it was extremely random. The book is very well written throughout the throughout the uh, 240 pages, uh, but in the in the in the very final part, it was a bit random, I shall say. The dialogues became extremely, extremely strange. Uh, it, it felt a very unreal. The very last conversation between Mirka and Sophie was extremely uh, improbable, so mm, I wasn't really convinced overall by the book. But the plot is nice, the setting is nice, I like taxidermy, well, I'm not, I don't like taxidermy as a, as a thing, I, I like taxidermy in books, I find it a very interesting element. I like LGBT books, this book is uh, clearly an LGBT book, so yes, just give it a chance, but take it with a pinch of salt, it deserves a read, but to me, for me, it was just three stars. I will be back very soon with a January wrap-up and then I will be back with a review of Homegoing by Ya Yazi, um, which is a book I feel deserves a individual uh, review because there is a lot to say. If you have any comments, opinions, you've read the books that I have reviewed, just leave it down below. Put a thumbs up if you like this video, put a thumb down if you didn't like this video, send me feedback, suggestions are always welcome. Thank you very much for watching. I will be back very soon. Leave, love, read and have a good reading time. Bye from Bookish Wonderland.